What's up, guys? This is <clears throat> this is Crispy Crispy Adventures, and today we have finished the Buddy Fight deck. And what we have here is my deck. Um, is it Drum Bunker? Um, we shall see. The deck here I have is Dragon World, and I have extra cards here to go over what I was planning to go with this, with this deck and what not to do with this deck. So let's get started. Yeah, yeah, I usually use the core sleeves because I don't have other buddy sleeves yet. All right, put that there. Okay, going over, we are going to go with a Jackknife Dragon deck. So, I have a buddy rare of Jackknife Dragon as my buddy. Pretty nice. Of course, Dragon World. There's a card going to be, be our flag. And we'll go start off with size 3 and down. So, I have one size 3, which is the Super Armor Dragon... Galvantic Feather Dragon. I really don't mind this card. It's only used just so I can get my extra charge and I can actually hit you for two without doing anything important. Not a bad size three. I just put in the deck to look cool and the stats are right for a six six. It's something. It's nice. Looks neat. Oh, for these videos I'm gonna put in the corner right here if I remember editing of every card you see because some of these cards are really really holographic and you can't read the text. So on the two, size 2's I use one Thunder Knight's Hellbird Dragon, just for the ability to move, and stats are pretty good, 466. Moving on, so we got on, on to all our Jackknife stuff now, so I use Jackknife's in this deck, so I'll just decipher all the Jackknife's. So I use one Jackknife's Dispersal for my Penetrate, two Thunderstorms, because, let's see, this one does Penetrate, so yeah, this one has the pay your two life and kill the field and attack, so I like that. Then I have two aggressors, just to be aggressive, because that, that 8k attack and 4 crit is really good for late game, or even mid game too, just for pressure. Of course we have our 4 jacks and the buddy rare, making it 5 jacks. So I play 1 buddy rare, 2 TD ones, and 2 rares from the character pack. So those are my size twos. Moving on to ones. I'm still trying to figure out the ratio for this deck still, but it's, it's, just, it's fine for now. So we have size ones of double sword dragon. Your 5k attacker. Uh, only one crit, but still pretty good for, you know, for bulk and this defense. It's not bad. Play 4,000 Raker dragon because that 5k and two crits pretty good. But that defense is pretty bad. But this is used a lot. I guess people consider it a staple, and I kind of agree. And of course, I have four Blade Wing Dragons because I like the ability to move, even though it has weak weak stats. The ability to keep me safe in the center is pretty good. I like this just for that. So until this deck has about twenty one monsters, give or take, because I'm because I'm more focused on spells. So I play four weapons. We'll do the weapons. I play, of course, I have the SP, and I guess this is considered a better SP. I don't know. Anyway, so I play one. I play two Steel Fist Dragon Knuckles just for the gauge, and for that it doesn't cost me anything. Only cost me is one life. I'm fine with that. That's good. And I play two Drago Breach because I don't mind paying one life and paying a gauge. That's better than playing Drago Blade, which costs me a card and a gauge. But this is kind of better. So. For weapons only, since I don't really rely on weapons a lot in this deck. Since Knuckles is for, I want to say Knuckles for Gauge, and the Breach is just for attack, so not bad. Uh, on the spells, so I play three Drago Energies. I don't mind Drago Energies at all, not bad. They're better than a Dragon Breath, because this has counter, and the counter health when you have any of my size 1 or size 2, and this keeps Jack alive, and I don't mind that, so that's pretty good. Um, on to shields. So they replace shields and stuff. So I play four green dragon shields for the for protection for life. So I like that. There's four of them. Check those out. I play. I have three rares and a common. Since the hardest card to get in this game is these, I only get my hands on two of them. So I have two blue dragon shields just for gauge and negating. So it's good. Since I've seen the, the ratios we see are our regionals recently and. Mexico, the Philippines, and Paris, was it France? In France? 
you see people play four four greens, four blues, four whites. So since I can't comp I can comprehend the blues, I play two white shields just just in case. So it's still pretty good. I wonder if it'd be a black shield. That'd be pretty cool. And a red shield? Ah, even better. Anyways, so moving on to other spells, I play two Jackknife Bravehearts to help me search for Jackknife Dragon. It's a good hefty cost to pay two to search for a Jackknife or search for any other Jackknife that I need. But if I have one or the other, I just charge one. And then I have two Dragonic Charges, which I'm iffy on still. I use them, but not a lot. And they end up being charged anyways. Like, I have enough gauge, I'll just charge them. Um, since most regionals and some tournaments have side decks, I probably use a side deck. I'll we'll go over those cards in a bit. But yeah, I have two Dragonic Charges. Then two Drago Bonds, which is another good nullify. Keep a creature safe. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, then we have two Dragonic Thunders to get rid of those pesky grade grade one side what size one creatures. That stack fell over here. Let's fix that. Okay, then we have like a couple oneers. So I play one Dragon Crush to get rid of items on the field, which is pretty good. So I get rid of that set spell. A Magic World's bloody card that pings you for one each turn, so I'll use it for that. Day of the Dragon, to wipe the field and hit with, uh, hit with the Drago Breach, so three damage is three damage, right? Only one of these, since this is more, this is more late game, so I'll play one of those. Dragonic Grimoire. Ooh. And I play three impacts, so I play two Gargantua Punishers and a Dragonic Punisher. Pretty good. Decent deck style. It's the goal of Dragon World is supposed to be rush and aggro, so I do like that. So other cards that I've been considering for this deck. So for size ones, I've been considering these little guys to boost my creatures. It's Death Rattle Dragon. I considered him. I did play Slash Knife for a bit just to go around. It was okay. And this was my this is my replacement for move it over here. Move it from a replacement for for double blade, but neither are it works. I also add another Drago Energy just for backup. Maybe add another Grimoire. And I was playing with these grade 3, these size 3s. So Super Armor, Bleed Cannon was a consideration. Purgatory Knight was another one I was considering. And then I was considering this one because it just looks cool. And I was playing with my size 2s. I was playing, maybe I'll play these guys. But Cloud Bunker never happened. Of course, backup shields. And I have Psychic, psychic um, Knife Dragon as a... I don't need to attack you. I'll just hit you with this. Originally, before I was playing with two of these, the so double attack was pretty good. But the two gauge was kind of hefty. Then, of course, Ultimate Buddy was a test played in this deck. It was okay. It does make Jack beefy, but after as soon as I played Jack, I usually evolve him right away, so it didn't really happen. Um, then I have extra Drago Bonds for backup, so I've been playing around with certain cards for this deck, but we shall see how things turn out. I'll probably have some buddy fight videos eventually. I'll test play this over the weekend with some friends. Um, that's really all for now. Just keep an eye out for this. I'm thinking of doing a Wii Cross. For those who know of it, I am getting the TD deck of that coming in the mail soon. And I'll do a review on that. And I will Photoshop translations of the cards so you all know what they do. I'll also put the Wii Cross logo right here so you can see what it is. Um, that's really it, so thank you guys for watching and take it easy.